In the beginning of episode 12, I told a story. A story about how what was here was experimental, unfinished, and really just still here because I was procrastinating, going in and changing it, and finishing up this project. What was here worked and served a function, but looked horrible. As soon as I was done telling this whole story and explaining this situation about this end down here, I just rode my bubble elevator all the way up to the top, to this end up here, and oh my goodness, it's dark out. And I told the exact same story about this end. And that's not a coincidence. It's not because th th they have, uh, you know, something in common. Uh, no. It's simply because that is virtually every build in my world. It goes through phases. It goes through experimental phases. It, it goes through stale periods. It goes through, uh, you know, I was trying to make it sound way cooler than it is. Really, I just, I just take my time with builds. <laughs> That's it. It's just my creative process, right? I mean, I like to build things and get things in place. And then if you don't come to a conclusion that you love completely and you start running out of ideas or just getting unmotivated or you start to get excited about something else and you just want to go do something else for a while, just take a little bit of time off of that build and come back later and you'll, you'll, you'll just have a million ideas and you'll be so refreshed and it's just better than trying to force out a project uh, that you don't really have the motivation or the ideas to finish. I have found that sometimes when you don't know what to do, the best way to, you know, kind of clear your headspace and get motivated and get a bunch of brand new ideas is to just stop trying. Just stop trying. And I promise, an idea eventually will come to you if you're patient long enough. And you will be so glad that you waited because you probably came up with something way cooler than you would have ever come up with if you just tried to rush it and force the project out. And then you would have been stuck with this thing that you don't really care for that much because you'd have been like, oh, well, I finished it, it's done. And that brings me to another topic, my friends. No project is ever finished. Okay, perhaps that was a little extreme, but all I'm really trying to say is that you should leave room for, for change, for evolution in your builds, because you never know what updates or changes are going to be made to Minecraft itself. Or just the environment around the build and how that might, you know, influence this build or that build or what, you know, you, I think you get the point that I'm trying to say. Anyway, let's talk about the future of the build and what could come to pass. This space dug out down here will eventually become a full-fledged uh, little pond, but I've just kind of shaped it out generally it might change a little bit it might get a little bigger i don't know it seems a little small but i want to definitely texture out the bottom here too with maybe some sand and some mud and uh of course get some kelp and some seagrass all that fun stuff down there and get it nice and lively maybe even some pickles down there or okay excuse me you see cucumbers um and eventually i'll have to terraform a little stream that goes somewhere i guess down that way right it's got to go downhill but I've started it coming off of this pond, and I like that idea, but I don't know exactly what I want to do with that. If I want to just make another little pond down here, or if I could end up making a waterfall. Yeah, don't worry about that, okay? That's too far in the future to think about. And of course, this lovely vegetation you see before you must be carried up through this uh, cavity, this empty space, this this lifeless empty void that we've opened up into the ceiling it must be filled with green and of course the same goes for up here vegetation all around overgrown to the max uh up here we might play around a little bit more with roots uh and go a little bit heavier on the roots and a little bit lighter on the vines versus down in the cave but I, you know those those are details details my friends the important thing is that both of these spaces are wildly overgrown. Wildly. But before I go too crazy covering everything in vegetation, I just want to let it sit for a while. Anyway, my friends, that's all for this recap. Like and subscribe.